guys uh, welcome to lecture number 11 that is spiral model so it is one of uh, the models which are present among the six models that uh, are present in software testing uh, model list okay uh, one important thing about this model is uh, like this model is uh, these days is not that much frequently asked in interviews and uh, also the industries are not using this model uh, frequently into their respective works so it's also better to uh, like get a knowledge of what spiral model is all about but still uh, I will prefer you whatever I'll uh, teach you in this particular lecture that will be more than enough for you to understand this uh, understand about the spiral model so uh, in this particular model what you can see is like the very first stage is the object determination that means you are identifying what is the goal what exactly you need to do what are the objectives you need to follow in order to complete a task second is you need to identify what are the risks which are involved while doing a particular work suppose for example you have planned of pursuing MBA from a very reputed college for that what you uh, you need to do you need to prepare for a CAT exam but you simultaneously are working for a company also and you are also looking side by side at that work also so there is a lot of risk involved when you are totally ded dedicating yourself to MBA or CAT exam and not doing any sort of office work because at that particular in that particular case office uh, your office colleagues can complain against you and uh, you can easily get terminated from your organization so these are part of the risks which are involved uh, in per, uh, doing or working for particular objectives and uh, while uh, after you have identified those objectives okay then comes the third phase after uh, uh, like resolving those defects and identifying those defects you come to a development phase development phase means like you are not uh, ready to develop uh, the particular software or the application uh, which uh, from which uh, from the particular by comparing those things with the objectives last but not the least comes the uh, review and planning uh, the next phase that means this is the final step and the project is basically reviewed and choice is made whether to continue further uh, uh, further into this particular spiral if it's determined to keep the plans are drawn up for the next step of the project that means the development phase basically depends upon the remaining risk for example if performance or user interface risks are treated more essential than the program development risks the next phase may be an evolutionary development that includes developing a more detailed prototype for solving the risk okay guys so that means if you require certain uh, things to get involved in uh, it uh, in itself into the next phase then leave that particular testing or developing for the other phase looking at the various impacts and risk associated with the ongoing phase okay uh, what you can do is like simply you can take an example of uh, suppose you have you all must have given your class 12th board exams okay so over there you what you have done is like for particular subject you have prioritized some chapters so based on those chapters you have saw, uh, you have planned uh, yourself to study those chapter uh, in a sequence okay once the important ch uh, chapters are finished now you are confident okay whether to move with the other chapters uh, with with this much uh, pace or whether uh, those particular chapter will require the similar type of dedication or what uh, whether leaving those uh, particular chapters uh, which are not so important will have some impact on our overall results so these are all the factors which you can consider as well when you are testing for your software as well so try 
try to understand things in uh, yourself by determining what exactly you will be doing in the next phase of the uh, development or testing like whether you will be able to complete each and every uh, task in single phase whether you will be able to complete each and task into three phases so this is all the planning which basically happens into spiral model so hopefully this has made a lot of uh, things clear uh, in your mind so there are certain advantages of spiral model as well like advantages like risk analysis is there you can analyze the risk and you can solve those particular risks also and move further strong documentation is required and that documentation is basically followed so this is one of the very crucial advantage of spiral model last but not the least if we proceed further with the disadvantage of it spiral model obviously will cost you high okay and sometimes what happens is like for risk in, uh, and identifying those risks and resolving those risks you basically needs uh, need experts uh, for everything so that will also cost you too much so spiral model these days that's why is not followed in different different companies despite they are all getting involved themselves uh, getting involved into uh, agile technologies agile methods waterfall methods uh, v model methods etc so hopefully this uh, uh, this lecture has somewhat cleared your doubts about the spiral model so there are only four phases in the spiral model just try to uh, cover each and every point try to explain yourself what the points are and you can easily explain the spiral model in your interviews as well in a further uh, uh, in the uh, uh, upcoming uh, freshers interview as well so whatever you are doing just try to give yourself and explain yourself with the help of the with the help of practical examples your uh, surrounding uh, uh, examples uh, surrounding things just take those and explain yourself what the things exactly are and how you can correlate those things with your spiral model so thanks a lot guys this was all about spiral model we'll meet you in the next lecture thank you